Welcome to the Virginia is for Laughers podcast, brought to you by the Funny Womax and Friends. If you're looking to get more out of your Shenandoah Valley experience, then this is the podcast for you. You'll meet interesting people, musicians, and comedians that perform here and find out more about what you can do and see. Whether you live here or plan to visit, listen to explore what makes our unique slice of heaven. Now here's your host, Don Davis Womack. Hello, laughers. It's so exciting to have you here today for today's episode on Run the Runway. We're going to explore the vibrant events and personalities that make the Shenandoah Valley a wonderful place to live and visit. We have a special guest joining us, Heather Ream, the Director of Marketing and Communications at the Shenandoah Valley Airport. Heather is here to talk about one of the most anticipated events of the year. As I said, Run the Runway 5K. This unique event offers a family-friendly race experience right on the airport's taxiway and runway, which we are on right now, or close to, in our background. (laughs) Next to it, yes. (laughs) Yes. And with a 1K fun run for children and a 5K race for all fitness levels, it promises to be an exciting day for everyone involved. Not only is this event a fantastic opportunity for runners and walkers, but it also supports a great cause. All proceeds benefit the Explore More Discovery Museum's Aviation Exhibit, which provides children with hands-on learning experiences in aviation. We're thrilled to have Heather here to give us the scoop on this extraordinary event and its impact on the community. Welcome to the show, Heather. It's great to have you on today. Thank you so much for having me. This is incredible. It's not every day that I record a podcast in front of a runway, but today <laughs> And we if we are. have any planes behind us and it's loud, it's the nature of the business. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> We're just it's living fun. our best lives right. right now, right? right. We're just living yeah. it. Yeah, so the rain stopped. It's beautiful outside now. My goodness. It's excellent. And we got through it. So again, mm-hmm. welcome to the show. And I would love for you to start talking to us about your role here at the airport and how you got involved with Run the One Way 5K event. Is this your brainchild? Talk to me. Um, well, actually, a couple of our staff members, we were just talking and thinking it would be fun to like do some kind of a race on the runway other airports have done that Mm -hmm. Um, and we were like how can we get that going and right around that same time the Explore More Discovery Museum had started talking to um, us and Dynamic Aviation based in Bridgewater about this idea they had Mm -hmm. for the second floor of the museum um, to put in an aviation exhibit and we were like wait we can we can help them with that exhibit. They can get you know the proceeds. It yeah. seems like it fits well to have a family fun friendly family friendly <laughs> event um, happening at the airport. And so that's kind of how it got started. And this is going to be our seventh year. That is amazing. Yeah. You get a great turnout every year. I hear we do. Yeah, a great mix of um, you know kids doing our one uh, k for a half k fun run, um, and adults. We have everything from moms pushing strollers to <laughs> um, really good runners that are trying to get a personal best on a flat paved course. Oh yeah, which is pretty pretty unusual to have just a flat course. You can really just take off. <laughs> Pardon the pun. (laughs) (laughs) I'm full of aviation puns. (laughs) You are full of them. It's really great, though. As somebody used to do 5Ks, I really appreciate the flat courses. I do not like running uphill, so that's a nice aspect of this race for sure. How many people would you say roughly come out for this event each year? Um, Participants in last year was around 400, and we are thinking we've had 500 in the past. And I think we're going to get it back up to 500 this year or more, hopefully. That's my plan. (laughs) Uh, Good plan. Now, other than being on a runway, what makes this this event unique from other 5K events? Um, Well, you talked about how it benefits the Explore More Museum. That's certainly something that we are passionate about. And, um, you know, the museum has the ability to kind of spark that little interest in aviation to children at a young age Mm -hmm. and uh, makes it a lot more accessible, you know, and and help children when they're, you know, taking their first flight, maybe become more comfortable with aircraft and how everything works. Um, 
we um, there's actually if you've never been to the museum and seen the exhibit um, there is a King Air fuselage in there that the um, actually inside the building that the kids can go in and they can you know be pilots they can be passengers um, they can dress up as pilots or flight attendants <laughs> that's so or, fun yeah they can pack a suitcase um, they can go into the air traffic control tower at the museum and yeah. um, you know communicate with the pilot like they would on the radio and um, it's just a really cool a unique opportunity for kids and um, part of our mission at the airport is to you know really support the community and potentially you know specifically aviation related um, you know workforce development and um, you know a lot of kids that knew they wanted to be a pilot or yeah. they wanted to work on aircraft as a mechanic at a really early age and so just kind of exposing kids to that and, and parents too you know how do you know so much about Explore More's <laughs> aviation pieces or exhibits at the museum? So, um, well, initially my involvement with the museum long time ago when um, Lisa Scholl was first getting started in my mm-hmm. previous career, um, I worked for the Shenandoah Valley Children's Choir and her kids as the museum was kind of just starting her brainchild yeah. as a traveling museum. Um, I kind of met her and kind of knew that and then you know, working for the airport, I kind of got reacquainted with her and started working with her on the aviation exhibit and um, then went on as a board member. So I'm serving my sixth year. This will be my last last term I can serve until I have to roll off the board. But um, yeah, so I've learned so much about the museum and, um, you know, all of their excellent exhibits. But of course, the aviation exhibit has my heart. <laughs> I <laughs> of see. Course. And especially since we've helped build that from the ground up. So that's amazing. Yeah, it feels good to see that. Now, do you do the 5K yourself or have well, you in the so past? Well, so I'm normally doing like the logistics of yeah. like running the event. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've never actually ran the event myself. I run the event. I don't run the event. <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. And running anything. Yeah. Are talking about running toward anything mm-hmm. and it being around lunchtime right now. <laughs> I am starving, which thankfully I brought this absurdly flavorful popcorn yes. from our sponsor, Pre Popstress. I brought you some. Have you ever oh, tried thank it? You. Yes, Pre Popstress is my favorite. And this is the Windy City mix. I which, love the Windy City mm, box. So good. I know. It might not, <laughs> this packet might not survive this whole interview, I'm just it's saying. <laughs> It's a wonder. It's very good. It is very good. Mm-hmm. And they are Shenandoah Valley based too, right there in Bridgewater. And their kernels are grown right here in the valley. Their factory is 100% nut free. And they just received, not too long ago, the Virginia Spinest Trademark for specially cra- top specially crafted food here in the state of Virginia. Which I didn't is, know that. That's I know. Excellent. So congratulations. congratulations. <laughs> right? Well uh, deserved. It is, and it makes an incredible gift for literally any occasion, birthday, anniversaries, swag bags, employee conferences. I mean, the sky, the sky is the, the, sky's the limit. limit. <laughs> I like this. And she loves the offer so much. She's not only our sponsor, she's giving you a 15% discount. Just use promo code LAF15 when you visit prepopstress.com today. That's P-R-E-P-O-P-S-T-E-R-O-U-S dot com. Now back to you, Heather. <laughs> oh, wait. I can't finish my popcorn. <laughs> you can munch on that while I think about this next question. While I refer to it right here from my so cheat good. sheet. <laughs> this event includes a 1K fun run for children ages 3 to 12. How mm-hmm. important is it to you to include and to the airport activities for kids and what they can expect during the fun run? Well, because the Explore More Museum is a place for kids to explore and learn, we felt that was a really important component of this race, mm-hmm. um, that the kids can get out there and really, I mean, so, these kids are just amazing. Like, I mean, <laughs> I love they, <laughs> I mean, they just take off and it is like their <laughs> hearts are like just in it. And we put um, one of our huge fire trucks at the end of oh my gosh, their taxiway fun. there. So the kids run and like, yeah, cool. I got to the big fire truck. And then sometimes they're like, this fire truck is so cool. And we're like, no, you have to turn around. Run, run. You can look at it later. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so fun. It's the and midway point. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So they go down and they go down the taxiway and meet the, uh, the, the fire truck and then come back. And um, it's so fun. It really is. And parents can run along with their kids for the the fun run that's there's no charge for that um but you know you okay. just register your kids and um all the kids get like little um 
prizes. So we oh, do different yeah. prizes every year. I can't tell you what they're going to get, but they all get them. Um, at the end last year, it was these cool um, keychains that they made at the museum that said okay. "Run" that my both of my daughters still have on their book bags. <laughs> um, and um, anyway, it's just it's it's a lot of fun. The kids the kids enjoy it, and we have a. Um, a static display of all kinds of different aircraft that they mm-hmm. can see and get in and oh, you know wow. pretend and um, yeah we have lots of fun things planned this year. Yeah. Do you have food trucks and music um, and so things we, like that? We, so via Momentum, who we partner with for timing, um, they kind of DJ for us. So it's oh. not like a live band, but they DJ for us. There's music to get the crowd kind of pumped up and um, so. And let yeah. me just say, knowing my friends at VA Momentum. <laughs> They are fun DJs. They are a <laughs> lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. So, but it is professionally chip time by VM Momentum. That's right. So, and the you, D, DJing is just the bonus entertainment yes, experience agreed. you get with VA agreed. Momentum. Agreed. <laughs> agreed. They're a lot of fun. That is actually a fun fact and a main reason you should come. <laughs> There's, it's always a blast. Yeah. And, this is, and then that's the kid run. You also have mm-hmm. the 5K run. What does that look mm-hmm. like on an airport runway? I mean, is it mm-hmm. all on the runway and they're doing laps? or? So it's the runway and the taxiway. Our okay. runway is actually about a mile long. So it's 6,002 feet, which is about a mile. And so they go all the way down the runway. They go all the way down our taxiways. And then they kind of loop around a little bit from the taxiway over to the runway for a little longer um, to make up the 3.1. Three point one, two, two miles. One there. mile. Three point one. It's three point one. I'm sorry. I should have known that. I do know that. It just You know, it's so much to remember. <laughs> You've got a lot of other details as the event organizer. It is, Don't it is worry correct. About it. it is correct mileage. There you go. I promise. We've measured it a lot. <laughs> And that's why they hire VA Momentum, so they can make sure that the timing and the distance is accurate. It's all kosher. That's right. (laughs) Now, all the proceeds Mm -hmm. benefit the Explore More Discovery Museum Mm -hmm. and the aviation exhibit specifically. Uh, Can you tell us, you've told us more about that, but what's the impact do you feel directly on the community and supporting them? I just think... It's just such a neat place for kids to explore, not just aviation, but, you know, they can be car mechanics. They can, you know, be on the stage. They can, you know, cook in the kitchen. They can, you know, do their own TV broadcasts in the, in the TV studio. And um, it's just it, it's just really such a valuable asset to our community for our kids. You know, these days, kids are a lot of times involved in, in they're like on phones, they're on mm-hmm. technology, you know, and. You know, so I feel like there's less like hands on opportunities to really play and learn. And that that's a kid's job is to play and learn and, you know, make those brain connections. And the museum does such a good job of that. So we're a firm believer. So. Are you aware of any kids? You've been been at this airport, I believe, 17 years. 19. 19. 19 years. 19 mm-hmm. years. <laughs> Are there any kids... The, from your experience with Explore More that you have seen or heard that are now in aviation today by any chance? I don't know that I know of any specific stories, but I do know of of people who will say, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I I got involved in or I got interested in aviation at a really early age. Mm. Um, and the exhibit was just built in 2017. So some of those really young kids, they're probably just now kind of getting into you know their career training so um that's true yeah so but i i really think it has has the potential to to spark that interest i think so too what kind of support have you received from sponsors and people in the community to make this happen you can't put on an event like this by yourself so excellent talk to us about that and your partnerships Uh, how did they come to be did they come seek you did you seek them or both? Um, it's been a combination. I would say mostly us kind of seeking them. Um, there's some aviation related sponsors um, like our, our airport consultants that we use for all of our construction projects. Um, Delta Airport Consultants. They're actually based in Richmond, but um, they're kind of they have you know people all over the state and they are also a strong believer in you know kind of workforce development for aviation and kind of that spark. Um, and so they send a crew up every year and they actually run the race and um, enjoy it with us. And so they're a good sponsor. And um, there's a lot of um, companies in the area that are big believers in the museum. Mm-hmm. And this is a fun way for them to support the museum too. And 
um, they like to get their free registrations for you know their company and, and the families. So, yeah, so we've had uh, we've had really great sponsor support, but. If anyone sees this and is interested in sponsoring, what, what? we are always looking for additional sponsors and we have a bunch of different levels that, you know, would fit anyone. There's lots of lots of get great benefits. And, and how would they get yeah. in touch with you if they're interested in doing something like so that? So all the sponsor information can be found on Explore More's website. It's iexploremore.com slash run. Oh, great. And so registration information is there and sponsorship information. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that. Thank you for that clarification because I was trying to find some more information specifically on flyshd.com mm-hmm. about it. And there was a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking we should probably help people mm-hmm. get to that and yep. where to register. So would they register for the race also at iexplorermore.com? So, yes, yeah, so the link to register is there. Also, VM Momentum has a link on their page um, and both will take you to the run sign up. Um, okay. Form. What's the cost to be involved in this race as a participant? Yeah. So the fun run is twenty dollars, mm-hmm. and the five k is thirty. But if you register ahead of time, and both of those go up um, five dollars the day of the event. Then there's a cutoff so. for getting the T-shirt. This event is September the fifteenth annually. Correct. Correct. And the cutoff, yeah. I think, for the T-shirt is September first. September first is our cutoff. Yeah, we want to give our T-shirt <laughs> sponsor plenty of time to um, get those produced and in our hands um, before packet pickup on the fifteenth. And do you get, do you reveal the T-shirt design beforehand? Yes. Yes. Oh. And I'm super excited about it. Okay. I'm, I think we're probably going to reveal it next week. What? Yeah, so stay tuned to the airport social media, explore more Discovery Museum social media. That's what we'll push it out. Oh, this is so exciting. Yeah. So we are recording this Monday, July the 22nd, and it will drop July 31st. This oh, okay. Is, yeah. So, so you probably can find the design now. Okay. When this airs. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> and who creates the design for the t-shirt? Do you have a local artist that um, puts that together for you? I actually designed it this year myself. So if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were an artist yeah. too. I mean, I can do just enough graphic design to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I actually, for the airport, I design most of our ads. And Okay. Yeah. Do you yeah. use Canva like I do for um, a little bit of inspiration Canva. and help? I, I c- often mold something they have and tweak it to well, what I would like prior to, to Canva I actually used lots of other graphic design software but Canva has made things so easy mm-hmm. that yeah I definitely use Canva too but I have enough knowledge to be able to do a little little extra yes. on the other programs <laughs> <laughs> Doing more than me, but for those of <laughs> you laughers that may not be familiar with Canva, you can go to Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. They are not paying me to say this, so I'm not sponsored by them, but I have I've thoroughly enjoyed being able to utilize what they have available to create designs mm-hmm. to help promote things that we're doing for the community as well. So yep. if you feel like you've got something you want to organize and you do not have graphic design skills, this is one way that you can make some great images happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. They have That's lots of templates so and easy. all of that. So Canva, if you're listening, I am also <laughs> accepting more sponsors. <laughs> Speaking of sponsorships, <laughs> just go to the funny Womax.com. Womax are spelled W O M A C K S.com. You heard me. <laughs> anyway, okay. is there, what is the special, uh, what are the preparations and considerations that go into organizing an event like this? Are you getting this done September 15th, 2024, and then September 16th, you're already thinking about the next year? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're always thinking about what we could do different the next year, but in preparation <laughs> ahead of time, um, we actually have to get the FAA's approval to close our oh, runway. Oh, yeah. Because didn't you think about that. Because you obviously can't have airplanes landing and people are out here running. Yeah, let's not um, do that. Yeah. So <laughs> so it is a process to get the FAA to approve that. And they, right. um, you really have to have like some good justification. Mm-hmm. So I have to fill out, you know, all these forms and talk about workforce development and how it benefits the museum. And um, yeah, it's it's a process. It is a process. Yeah, what would you say is the most challenging part of organizing? This is your biggest event every year, right? 
It is. Yeah. Okay. So what would you say are the, the biggest challenges of putting this on? Let's just start with that. What are the biggest challenges? Well, for me personally, it is the fact that um, doing events is like just a such small portion of my mm. job. <laughs> For me, it's just uh, time. It's just having yeah. time to get everything done. But we are like ahead of the ball this year. I'm feeling like real confident about about we've been nailing things down and getting things done ahead of time. And I'm feeling good about it. I love. I am. That. And and I should say the Explore More Museum is really a good partner in that we work together. Um, used to be Kelly Snow. She actually has left mm-hmm. the museum for a new opportunity. Um, and so now Sarah Sutt has stepped into that position. Oh, great. And yeah. she's she's just wonderful. She we've, is. We've uh, had a, a, a good time working on this together, and she's really knowledgeable. And, um, and personal and approachable and, personal, and yeah. kind and yes, thoughtful. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a great race. It is going to be a yeah. great race. What's the best part of this for you, this event? Seeing the kids and the adults cross the finish line. Ah, because yeah. that sense of accomplishment of just like I've I've done it, you know, and the yeah. kids, you know, the crowd, they're like all oh, like everyone's like clapping for them, and the kids are like running, and they feel like they're stars, you know, and their <laughs> class, they're like crossing this huge inflatable, you know, arch finish line, and everyone's like yeah, and you know, the museums handing them their you know whatever their prizes for that year, and um, a lot of times we have ice cream waiting for them, which that's my kind of race, yeah, ending yeah. right there, uh, yeah. that so, and beer, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the kids are just thrilled and yeah. you know just how often do you get to come out and be like inside the fence of a, an airport you know next time you're taking off in a plane you're like oh yeah I ran that <laughs> oh yeah. yeah I was so much faster than this Been plane there, done off. that yeah got the medal <laughs> and the ice cream yeah <laughs> So anyway, it, it's just cool. And, you know, we also, I think, have quite a few people who may not be comfortable doing other 5Ks mm-hmm. because, you know, they're not really like, oh, I don't really want to do hills. I don't, you know, and um, you can push strollers. We even had someone one year that completed it in a wheelchair. That's he, great. He pushed himself in his wheelchair and he was like, I've wanted to do a 5K for such a long time. And this was like the perfect one everything saved he was like it was awesome and I was like oh my I never even thought about that yeah so cool so cool I love that That that's good all abilities all fitness levels all like it just works and you don't have to run it you can walk it oh absolutely sounds like if we got strollers and things like that lots of walkers yeah it's just a fun way to keep your family active on a Sunday afternoon and support a great cause. And support a great cause. Those are right. two wonderful things. How does the race pickup or packet pickup work? So packet pickup this year is just going to be the day of the event. I it like begins that. at eleven thirty. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think it's eleven thirty. I'm pretty sure. Double check that on the website. I think it's eleven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, starts at eleven thirty, and then our static display opens at noon. So families can just kind of come and mill around and look at all the aircraft and um, you know get stretched out get ready we are gonna have someone kind of stretch the kids out before ah, start. who's stretching the kids out i'm so excited i'm entertained already um, so actually um <laughs> it's um nell from I magnum know. opus i know her personally um, she is actually i should mention this too she is doing a training program yeah for free for anyone who's interested in doing this race too yeah. um you can find out information for that on the registration page and all you do is just indicate your um registration and actually start or started um july the 22nd but you can hop in at any time um and she'll send you all that information mostly it's on your own but she's also inviting people to her runs a couple times a week mm-hmm. um just for some extra motivation a yeah. extra training to help you get ready to run your best race if you want yeah, she has an incredible so, personal yeah. wellness and health journey herself. I first yep. met her at Strong Figure Boot Camp. Oh, cool. That's where I first met her, and I've just seen her get personally involved in fitness and running, and now she's a trainer herself. And actually, I'm getting ready for this podcast. Uh, you get ready now, because I'm going to call you, too, to be on here <laughs> and talk about what you have to offer. Because, yeah, Nell's awesome. You know, it, beyond this event, mm-hmm. she has a lot to offer you. Mm-hmm. So definitely yeah. check that she out. She does. So she's going to work out our kids, though. She's going to get them all stretched and, like, ready and hyped. Yeah. She's she a would good be perfect for that. that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I highly recommend. And if you want to learn more about Explore More Museum, when this podcast was audio only for the first 162 episodes, they are among that. 
sampling in its episode 60. So you can find out a lot more about Explore More Museum, especially if you live here in the area and you're looking for your kids to get involved in hands-on learning. That's an incredible place to be. And if you're already familiar with them and your kids already go, you can get some behind-the-scenes information about Explore More. And I think that's highly valuable to help you get more of your Shenandoah Valley experience, which is what we're all about. Mm -hmm. So I recommend that. This podcast is a little bit short and sweet today because it highlights lights your event and the following week you can look forward to seeing us again in the same outfits <laughs> different background <laughs> but a different background and we won't tell you about that you'll just need to watch the next episode to find out more about that a planer may or may not be involved so I'll leave you with that and then as we wrap up here how can the laughers follow this event you know they for this year and then if they miss it this year how can they find out about it so they can get involved the following year? Well, we try to spread the marketing far and wide, but if we should miss you, um, you go to um, the Shenandoah Valley Airport uh, Facebook page, the Explore More Discovery Museum Facebook page, um, Explore More Discovery Museum's website. VA Momentum has um, mm-hmm. it on their website. They have it listed. A bunch of different places. Um, and we also have an event that we created on Facebook where I'm posting lots of updates too. Um, just like the two. Are you calling it Run the Runway? Run the Runway 5K and Kids Fun Run. There you go. That's what it is. But if you go if you go to our pages, we have a, I, we have a pin at the top on our Facebook pages. So. Excellent. And if you yeah, are working yeah. out or driving, we'll make sure that yep. information is there for you in the show notes as well. So you can refer to that. Mm-hmm. And thank you, Heather, yeah. for coming on and talking about this amazing event that you hold annually seven years in a row Thanks. now. Thanks for having me. It's mm-hmm. fun. Hope to see you all on the runway. Let's do it. It has been awesome for you to share all this information with us today. And again, laughers, to learn more about this, you want to visit iexploremore.com forward slash, right? Run. Yes. You know what I mean. Yeah. Again, in the show notes for you. (laughs) And thank you so much for tuning in, laughers. We sincerely appreciate your support and helping us get this great content out there to do just that help you get more out of your Shenandoah Valley experience so please give this a like listen share with a friend subscribe you can find the funny you can find the podcast on the funny Womax YouTube page which is just getting started so stick with us and we'll be able to see soon clips of more clips of my husband and I both doing stand-up comedy as well as the podcast and some other fun content so stay tuned and also don't forget that discount and use your promo code laugh 15 to get a 15 percent discount when you visit prepopsterous.com today again that's p-r-e-p-o-p-s-t-e-r-o-u-s.com that way you can munch on it when you join me on next week's episode and lastly and most importantly thanks for tuning in laughers out all podcasts out there you picked us and we think that's pretty darn special just like you until next time keep smiling bye Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Virginia is for Laughers podcast brought to you by the funny Womax and friends. We'll be dropping a new podcast every Wednesday. So check back for another uplifting episode. Come to a FWAF show or let us bring one to you. To find out more, head to thefunnywomax.com. Be sure to share this podcast with a friend. And until next time, cheers.